At Dal Al Jam Hospital in the Senegalese capital Dakar, only the sound of a ventilator and beeps from a monitor indicate that the pregnant COVID-19 patient in intensive care is still alive. A few cubicles down, another woman is on oxygen after giving birth while sick with the coronavirus, as a third wave threatens to overwhelm Senegal's hospitals and some of its cemeteries. Intensive care doctor Caddy Fall says the beds are at full occupancy. We are exhausted, physically exhausted, but above all emotionally exhausted, because this third wave is above all the wave of youth. There are young people, both men and women, but above all there are many pregnant women and that emotionally exhausts us. Health Ministry figures show Senegal, which until July had recorded fewer than 44,000 COVID-19 cases and 1,166 deaths, has registered more than 20,000 cases and 250 deaths since the start of July. A short drive from the hospital, gravediggers at a Catholic cemetery are struggling to keep up with the number of burials. Since the third wave arrived, we have been working until 10 p.m., which never happened before. Our workload has increased. Also, before, we did not build the graves the day of the burial. We used to build the graves the day before so that the burial could be done the next day. But if you look at the one behind me, we built it today and buried it today. And the West African nation isn't alone. The WHO said on Thursday that coronavirus-related deaths in Africa reached a record peak last week, partly spurred by the highly transmissible Delta variant.